All right, how's it going, everybody? My name is Jeff from the Science Inc. and I'm here with a video on a topic that I've been thinking about because of all the movies that I've been watching recently, right? And that topic is spoilers, just the very nature of them and my opinion on how I handle spoilers, right? So a spoiler, if you don't know, is basically you want to watch something, you want to play something, or you just want to see something like in terms of entertainment, right? And somebody comes in and it's just like, hey, I'm going to divulge all the information on the plot or a scene that happens and you're just like, wow, that sullied my experience because now you know and you were looking forward to it, especially if you were looking forward to it. Spoilers always take away from the first time viewing. And so that's when I when I make my videos on like movies or anything like that, especially if they're recent, I always give the non-spoilers first and then the spoilers. And granted, people on YouTube usually just do like the non-spoilers, but I want to fit both people's like perspectives because if I have the non-spoilers and I just make it quick, simple, here, here you go, you can take this opinion, my opinion, if you value it, you value it, if not, whatever. It's quick, simple, out of the way. The spoilers is where I really divulge into what I thought, how I felt about certain things, all this stuff, right? And that's why I started making my videos like that. One is just like hey if i recommend this to you i recommend it to you off of my experiences of what i like or if not if then you know you just be cautious if you want to watch it you can watch it you know and then the other side is hey this is a genuine critique of what i thought if you guys agree then let me know if not then whatever right and the way i view it is basically i spoiled people before and no and no way was it malicious it literally every time that i've done it it happens by accident because I'm excited to talk about something with somebody and I let my tongue slip. And that's just me not being cautious about it. There are people out there, not everybody, I want to preface that, but there are people out there who maliciously spoil people. And I was like that all the way back in like 2010s, especially with the rise of the internet over the past like 30 years. People can just spread information all over. So if you see a movie that you want to watch or a game or anything like that, do not go on the internet. People that talk about it, people that play it will be on there and people will be talking about spoilers openly. You know, there are stalwart knights out there who try their best to keep the information on the DL, but there's just so many people who don't care, right? Because there are some people who hold this opinion, right? And that opinion is, oh, I watched it, so why hasn't anybody else, right? Where, especially if it's old media as well, like let's say, I don't know, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, they've been out for like 20 years now, right? And people are going to be like, hey, if you haven't watched it, that's your fault. It's been out for mad long. And I'm just like, hey, it, it, how is that fair, right? Because if you have something that you haven't watched, right? Like let's say I watched Dragon Ball Z, and you have it like you're a clean slate how is that not how is that different you know how is that different from what you just what comparison you just made right a spoiler is a spoiler no matter what context is in no matter what you're 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 spoiling for right whether it's new or old it's always going to be a spoiler to somebody so i'd rather just be overly cautious than i would and loose at the risk of spoiling somebody and again i have to mention this it's not easy it is not easy at all <laughs> having to manage yourself all the time about something that you've known for a long time is difficult you know especially when you're you you forget and you just let loose you're talking to somebody and let's say somebody walks in and then they don't know about it right and then they just got spoiled unintentionally right it happens you know but spoilers, deliberate spoilers, I'm not a fan of. Especially if it's like, oh, you should have watched it. It's already been out there. That's an inherently biased opinion. Because you watched it, that means that everybody should watch it. It's like, no, man, that's not fair. That's not a fair ground to stand on. Because I'm not, not the same. You and I, everybody else, we're not the same. Everybody's going to have their own experiences. Like, I watched Dragon Ball when I was a kid, you know. But there's people out there who watched it when they're in their 30s who haven't watched it who may die and never know who son goku is right it's not fair to assume because assuming just leads to bad problems right <laughs> just to reiterate i'm not perfect i try my best not to spoil people and i have on some occasion again not maliciously 
I'm not perfect, right? I make mistakes. So it, it, it was bound to happen, right? But I try my best to not spoil anybody on anything. Especially if I know that you're going to go watch something, right? And that's just how I, I try to handle it going forward. But let me know down below if you agree, if you disagree. Let me know if you've ever gotten spoiled before. <laughs> Luckily, I haven't gotten spoiled to a, a crazy degree. And if I have, I don't remember what it was. But if you have, let me know down below. Put like a spoiler up above and then space it out. So then people won't get immediately flashbanged with whatever that spoiler was. Just let me know down below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy and I'll see you all in the next video. I know this is a little short one. But I just wanted to talk about this because... Spoilers are, are prominent, bro. They're they're prevalent for sure. <laughs>